guys, it's me Kai. How are you today, night and or evening? Whatever time it is for you. Hopefully you're doing pretty alright. What is this? I'm sorry, I got distracted immediately. Oh, that's cool. That's a little thing. Um, as you can hear, I got the background music playing. Fucking high five me. Whoop. Uh, oh, you can't even see a little fucking, uh, oh my god. Oh my god, why can't I remember his name now? Holy shit. God damn it. You, I guess it doesn't matter. You can't see him. Why is my chair wet? Boy, this video is a mess. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna put something in my chair. Give me a second. Fucking hate that. That's weird as fuck. I don't, I don't like my booty being wet. Um, what are you doing, Bubba? Throw me a pack. Oh, you totally fucking missed. Wanna try it again? Try it again? Throw me another one? Really cool shot from my video. Oh, well, I failed that time. That was on me. That was on me that time. Gushers. Gushers. Not sponsored by Gushers. Though I would take that in a heartbeat. I fucking love Gushers. Boy. This is ADHD the video. Um. Fuck, I didn't even tell you guys how I was doing today. Um. I am making it. I am making it. That's how I'm doing today. Oh my god, I wish I could remember his name. Shigaraki. It's Shigaraki. It's Shigaraki. Yeah, you can't. You couldn't even see the Mr. Shigaraki. Poor buddy. Here, I'll put you. Put you right here. And then move the camera all over. Look, there we go. We got a little Shigaraki right there. You want to add a friend to him? Look. Boom. We got a Harley Quinn plush too. I'm just gonna forever add plushes to the back of my couch right there. Well, it's not a couch. It's a chair. I guess this video is just uh, starting with me rambling like a madman. Um, this video will be linked to Mr. and Mrs. Michaela Steve's blog. So if you're here from that and you've made it, uh, what, a minute? Oh, two, three minutes into this video and you made it to this point? Fucking good on you. You should hit that subscribe button. Or anybody should hit that subscribe button because I'm a fucking cool person. And we love cool people, you know. Uh, um, and eventually I'll get to planning these things better before I hit the record button. Uh, I post pretty much every day. Uh, this month I fucking fucked up and did not post for the last couple of days. Like I've skipped a day in between and shit. Um, but you know, shit happens, you know, well, I haven't been feeling really well, so, you know, of course, I kinda been slacking on my videos, but, uh, while I figure out what I'm gonna do, I'll just explain to some of the new viewers what exactly this channel does, so I make pretty much any type of content you could think of, um, like the video before this was about the Gabby Hanna shit, and how I feel about that situation, and I've had a lot of gaming videos, I got a lot of music, you know, I do these little sit-down videos, kind of like vlog style, but like not really, you know, I just kind of like, most of it is like this, oh, I do Reddit readings, I love me some Reddit, um, sorry, mind blank, no thoughts. So, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read y'all an ex excerpt from one of uh, the books that I'm writing, or at least a book that I am writing. Uh, let's see. Alright, I'll read y'all the first paragraph of this. Hidden in the past, there's always some kind of clarity, only known when we look back. Something you said didn't come out right, or you failed majorly and totally embarrassed yourself. I personally don't think delving too far in is such a good idea, dear audience. 
I'm here to guide you along this winding path of this story, across the past, the present, and the future. Who am I? Simply an observer of this story, watching from the void between it all. That is all you need to know. See, it all started back in the golden age, when the stitch and glitch and their purest forms fought. The earth shattered, in fact, the whole world, the universe split. It left me isolated and cold, lonely. I was stranded here beyond it all in a bleak, meaningless, in inky abyss. There was just nothing and no one here other than me, of course. I lost everything in that bio collision, so I let them think they had some kind of control. Across all their infinite lifetimes shaped, oh, shared together in broken friendship, I was lurking in the darkness. I waited until they left the legacy of their lesser parts, all aside from smoke and fire. Then I will have my revenge in my realm. They think they were released, but they're in my hell now. I've said too much. I've never been allowed to affect the story. It is not my place. I am simply here to tell it all as it happens, as it always happens. That's the real curse. I desperately want to make it past the block and truly interact. It's incredibly isolating here. Even in the divide, there was some sort of guide to keep you company, but here there is nothing, and also everything. There is so much I want to tell you, dear audience, but I am bound by the laws of my new home. I can no longer speak uh, out of turn or act fully on my desires to fix things and learn more. It's funny when I think about it. In my past, I always loved to watch from afar and record my surroundings, thanks to the sugar pea war. I should move on, though. You don't know who I am just yet. I can only allude to hints of my past. Jeremy was the first new glitch that rose to fame, only really a pawn for the Stitch to play with and create his perfect successor, Alex, the Glitch Stitch. Alex was always my favorite. She just had this way about her. She understood the full weight of this curse, and she held her ground. Unlike the rest of us, she broke her curse, and it wasn't quite enough to give her an edge. Sadly, the title was never hers to keep. Perhaps in the new world, in my world, she will have her own title and her own true power, like it was meant to be. They do not know that the Stitches' constant meddling has only stripped them of their true identities. And that was an excerpt from, uh, well, it's called The Files Part 1, but I think I'm going to change the name. But that was an excerpt from that, so that was reading. See, it's been eight minutes. I guess I'll do one more thing. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, this one I haven't wrote anything but one paragraph. And it's called, I hate lying. I hate lying, but sometimes you have no other options. Most people can't seem to handle the truth. They'll ask you for honesty, then shoot you a dirty look the second that honesty doesn't suit them. When someone is in their deathbed, their family doesn't want the truth. They want you to lie and say it's all going to be okay. They want to feel better, and the truth is really rarely that considerate. That's fine. I can acknowledge that some truths have a time and place, just as some lies do. And then obviously I'm going to finish that, but you know. Uh, and then I guess I will read one singular Reddit post. Uh, hold on one second. All right, let's see. Am I the asshole for not taking down my video that was a gift from my best band? I have a sister that's six years older than me. My parents, for years, canceled on me last minute because of my sister. I have a basketball game. Oops, sorry, sister doesn't feel like going out. I am graduating. Oops, sorry, sister had a bad day at work. They have missed both major and smaller events in my life because of her meltdowns. 
I met the love of my life. We decided to tie the knot from the beginning and told my parents how I am worried. My sister will ruin another special moment in my life. My mom told me over and over again that it would not happen. The day of my wedding, I received a voicemail from my mom saying that she couldn't come because my sister's dog was sick and she was upset. I'm gonna hold my thoughts to the end. I'm gonna hold my thoughts until the end. I was hurt. My best man, however, is a jokester. He took my phone and went to my fiance's and asked if he could post a video of our wedding as a gift on social media. She loved this idea. I had no idea about it until I got home. Our honeymoon was at a lakeside cabin, no cell service. The post caption was, my best friend, he's an amazing person, even if his parents never showed up for him. Video was still pictures of us next to her parents, me on the dance floor cutting the cake, where you would normally see both parents in wedding pictures. The sound behind the video was my mom's voicemail explaining how they couldn't come because my sister's dog was sick. Oh, okay, I know I was saying I was reserving it till the end. Bro, your best friend is a savage, okay? He literally, a motherfucker, he said, okay, bet, bet, y'all wanna be petty. I will take it to another degree. I will take it to a whole new level. I like this man. I respect him. That's fucking, that's friendship right there. That's what that is. That got fucking respect. Major respect to that man. Uh, let me keep reading now. I come home a week later and hundreds of messages, family members from both sides insisting I take it down. I was told my sister hasn't stopped crying. My mom is refusing to leave the house. I may be the A here. I didn't take it down when I got in my messages. I didn't call my family back right away. I waited until my vacation time was over at work and enjoyed my time with my wife and our new home before I contacted anyone. My dad told me to take down the video. It was just a bad night for them. That they will make it up to me and my wife for not coming. My reply was, exact, was how exactly do you make up? Oh, how exactly do you plan to make up my wedding? It's a once in a lifetime thing. You chose to ignore my feelings on the whole matter. Then he just repeated he will make it up to me. I told him I would take down the video only when he made up missing my wedding. Flustered, we both hang up the phone before we both said things we shouldn't have. And by the so deep here, I could have just taken down the video. No, no, you're not the asshole, as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, everyone else in this situation, aside from your goaded best friend and your wife, are assholes. Like, they should have just showed up to the wedding. Your sister's dog being sick is not a fucking excuse to not go to the wedding. Like, what? What's wrong with your sister? I need more information about that. Right? Like, I don't... I mean, I don't, I don't even know, like, is, does her sister have, um, does his sister maybe have some sort of, like, a neurodivergency issue? Or, like, some sort of a mental issue where she's, like, not at full capacity? Because that, that might be, uh... That might be part of uh, the issue. Um, but uh, I'm trying to figure out. Uh, well, I guess nobody knows. So I guess nobody is questioning that part. But either way, huge asshole move on his parents' part. That's so fun. Like genuinely so fun. Um, but, that being said... Oh 
okay? I'm gonna read you one, a poem last, and that'll be it, okay? Um, and if you made it this far, thank you so very much for that. Um, I know I'm not like always the most entertaining person to watch, but I do my videos so that people have like a time to chill out and like, like you're with a friend or whatever. That's the vibe that I go for here. Um, this though will eventually be a song. So look out for when this becomes one. You can say you heard it first. Um, and this is called, well I haven't given it a name yet, so. All the reasons that I love you are the same that'll break us down. All the pain that we go through is the reason it'll never work out. I know it's hard to see there's a life past you and me. I gave you everything and all you did was watch me slip away. Empty bottles are where I had the pain. I tried to move on but nothing's changed. Now the rage it holds me on in places I don't want to be. I keep being pulled back in for eternity. Here we go again breaking innocence. Here we go again living life full of reckless sin, abandoned who I am, and watch the castle burn to ash, I rise up from the flames and build it all back up by hand, I chose to walk away, but maybe I was too late, I still don't feel okay, and you are not here, all the reasons that I hate you aren't the same ones that bring me down, all the pain that we went through is the reason I live in doubt, how do I live past the life that we had, I gave it all to you, can you tell me what is left? question my guilt in this. Am I just a helpless victim? Did I really ask for this? Maybe it's just masochism. I can feel the hate bubble deep under my veins. I can feel the anger poison all that kept me sane. Why'd I let you do this to me? How did it get so far? Can you tell me why I miss you? Even after all the scars, you hurt me now. I hurt them. You burned me and I loved it. It's funny thinking back then, you used to say you loved me and I never had a doubt. If you had say if you had said you'd hated me, I would believe you now. You tried to pull me under the sea. I didn't like the idea of drowning. Now I'm living here above ground and I don't feel like myself. I gave it all to you. Can you tell me what I have left? Um how long has this fucking been? Probably like twenty minutes, huh? Yeah. Well, this is uh, Ben Kai, and I'm saying bye. There will be little boxes here and here, and then one probably around my face area with the subscribe thing, probably like around this, like neck or something, you know, somewhere in this area. Uh, you know, subscribe, click one of the playlists or videos that I got up here. You know, do all this shit that YouTubers are supposed to tell you to do. Um, if you want to, you know. If not, that's fine. I don't, I guess it doesn't matter. So bye guys.